Welcome or welcome back to Fairy the Greyhound. Today we're going to look at prey drive in greyhounds as Fairy walks around the woods and chases squirrels. We went to our local country park which is secure, fenced woodlands and fields. Fairy is again wearing her GoPro camera for a fairy eye view as she runs. As always I had a treat pouch full of corned beef and cheese today and her squeaky toy in my pocket to attract her attention if needed. All started well today with Fairy walking nicely alongside me or just a little in front of me and coming back to me every time I called her and rewarded her with a treat. I am always wary about letting Fairy off lead, but this place has a fence running all the way alongside the woods and a very high brick wall on the other side of the fields. It wasn't long before Fairy spotted some squirrels running around and scampering up the trees. And of course, she ran off a very, very fast after the squirrels. She was soon out of sight. Greyhounds have a natural prey drive. They are born and bred to chase, um, to chase after rabbits. They used to be used as hunting dogs in the past. Greyhounds who have raced usually have a higher prey drive than greyhounds who haven't raced. And the more successful winning dogs also usually have a higher prey drive. Fairy only did 12 races, but she does have quite a strong drive. Fairy never barked for about the first six months or so when I first got her. But as she grew in confidence, she now barks whenever she sees squirrels, cats. Um, she gets very excited and she has finally found her voice. Once the prey drive has kicked in, she really isn't interested in treats. I've got chicken, cheese, corned beef, all those lovely smelly strong treats that she likes to eat. But once her focus and her eye is on a squirrel, she, any amount of treats will not get her to come back. I do need to do a lot more recall training with Fairy using a long line and rewards. But I do realise that even with training and the best of recall, when dogs see something that they want to chase um, and they're very highly distracted, they usually will not come back until they have done what it is that they want to do. And this is the reason why so many greyhounds are kept on the lead 100% of the time. I only let Fairy off where I have uh, made an assessment and a judgment. Is it safe for Fairy to be off lead in this environment knowing that she may not come back? So I only let her off in a fenced secure area. I also don't let her off anywhere where there may be cats because I would not want her killing a cat if she chased it. But um, Fairy is always good around any type of dog so I don't have to worry about other dogs in um, sort of public areas. I know she is safe and fine with other dogs. She doesn't go near them. I'm now going to let you just go on the adventure with Fairy and not talk over it so that you can be absorbed in her adventure in the woods. Hunting for squirrels.
Good girl. Right, you're getting back on the lead. You're being very naughty now. Come on. The first few times we came here and let Fairy off, she stayed really close to me and stuck with me and didn't go far away. I think because it was all new to her. She didn't know where she was. But now she's become way too confident here now that she knows the place. So I think she'll be staying on the lead until she can be trusted to come when I call her. Even though today she didn't really go out of my sight, um, she stayed sort of close enough to me that she could still hear me and see me. Um, I don't like it when she doesn't come back when I call her like she did today. So we'll be going back and doing a lot more recall training with her at home. Come here, come here, let's all sit down. Come on, got some cheese. Good girl. While we were waiting here, did a little bit of practice of her wait and stay command. Fairy, wait. Wait. Good girl. Good girl. Get in. In. So after all that excitement, we got in the van to go home. No squirrels were harmed in the making of this video. And when we got home, Fairy was soon zonked out on the sofa and she slept all afternoon. She was very, very tired. She got into her roach position and she stayed there for hours. That looks really comfy, Fairy. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed our videos. Don't forget to look out on a Wednesday and at weekends as that's when we usually post new videos. Here's some you might like to watch next.